the airport drive-in and the 271 drive-in of Paris, Texas, both operated for a good solid 30 years approximately. Many classic iconic films appeared at each drive-in, and my parents liked to go to the drive-in theater, so I have a lot of fond childhood memories of going to see movies such as Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, uh, Sean Connery, and Goldfinger, uh, Mario Bava's Blood and Black Lace, Mario Bava's Planet of the Vampires. Some of these we saw at 271 drive-in, some of them we saw at the airport drive-in. The Sound of Music we saw at the drive-in. Classic, iconic films. This was a part of Americana. Drive-ins have been disappearing for a couple of decades now. Television and the VCRs and now DVD players have killed drive-in theaters. Very few are left that still exist. There's still a handful around the country, but at one time there were thousands of drive-in theaters. From the world of the gruesome and grotesque comes your most horrifying meeting with nerve-chilling fear. its toll of those caught in drag strip riot, leading to a fight fought with all the fierce fury of youth, dangerously angry one minute, rocking and rolling the next, young people like Yvonne Lyme and Gary Clark enjoying themselves. Blood and black lace in bleeding color. Shattering, shivering, shocking experience. And all of you who have memories of drive-in theaters, you've got to to say that we're losing something when we lose our drive-ins. So let's hope drive-ins will one day somehow reappear and take on a new retro existence. This has been Rich Bernardo. Thank you.